Hello, and welcome to this video on phacomulsification surgery, a minimally invasive technique used to remove cataracts from the eye. In this procedure, step by step, to give you a better understanding of what happens during this operation. Step 1, Anesthesia and Incision. The patient is first given local anesthesia, which numbs the eye and surrounding area. A small incision is made in the cornea, which is the clear front part of the eye. This incision is usually less than 3 mm in size and is made using a specialized blade or laser. Step 2. Creating a capsule or hexis. A tiny hole is made in the front surface of the cataract using a specialized needle, and then a small forceps is used to grasp the cataract's thin, clear, outer layer. This layer is then carefully peeled away from the rest of the cataract, creating a circular opening called a capsule or hexis. This step is critical as it allows the surgeon to access the underlying cataract. Step 3. Phacomulsification. Once the capsule or hexis is created, a small probe is inserted into the eye. This probe uses ultrasonic energy to break the cataract into tiny pieces that can be easily removed from the eye. These tiny pieces are then aspirated out of the eye using gentle suction. This process is called phacomulsification and is the most crucial part of the procedure. Step 4. Insertion of an intraocular lens. After the cataract is removed, an artificial intraocular lens, IL, is inserted into the eye. This lens replaces the natural lens and restores clear vision. The IL is usually folded and inserted through the same incision used to remove the cataract. Step 5. Closing the incision. Once the IL is in place, the surgeon will close the incision using tiny sutures. In some cases, no sutures are needed and the incision will heal naturally. And there you have it, phacomulsification surgery. Although it may seem complicated, this technique is safe and effective, with a high success rate. Thank you for watching, and we hope you found this video informative. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below.